Millions of people are choosing to cut the cable cord. For some, it's a way to save money. Others want to get away from the yearly contracts with cable companies. And some just don't see any need anymore because of all the streaming services. So tonight, Denver 7's Megan Lopez goes 360. Cable versus streaming. Television has a way of freezing time. The only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. A way of capturing history, even encapsulating it. Of the miracle of Westinghouse synchro tuning. From black and white sets with bunny ears and dials to color, HD, 4K. The future has never been this clear. The services have evolved as much as the sets. Analog to digital, satellite, cable, now a new revolution. Streaming, changing the way people consume TV. I got tired of $199 from Xfinity. Yeah, that's a little bit. Inside this Best Buy on Colorado Boulevard. What application are you using to try to get your local stuff? The entertainment section is busy. We have to get the Hulu Live app loaded on the Apple TV and the Fire Stick that you have at home. A constant stream of customers flowing in to cut the cable cord for a whole new world of TV options that are as unique and diverse as the person watching. So what does the future of TV look like? Well, let's go 360. We'll hear from a family who made the switch to streaming and says they're not looking back. Then you'll meet a man who is a loyal cable customer. And finally, you'll meet two different media experts who will give us their predictions on how streaming will change in the future and what you can expect to stay the same. All I want to say is I'm not afraid of you. For Sheila Brown, the decision to and her cable subscription was a long time coming. It was the cable company's lack of concern for long-term customers. But the final straw was another rate increase. Our cable was going to go up over $50. The family now uses Sling TV and services like Netflix. We have NFL stuff, so see, see you're not missing out. Her son-in-law, Matt, says the setup was easy and the service is flexible. No matter where you're at, you can open up the app, you can watch live TV. So they have no regrets. I can't imagine going back. I definitely want to watch sports live. In the Berlin household, meanwhile. College football's here. Saturdays are synonymous with sports. Over the middle! Tradition here. We cook food, watch football all day. Adam Berlin. The streaming doesn't make sense to me. Did the math for paying for the internet, streaming devices, apps and add-ons, and... It's not that much more, in my opinion, to have uh, cable, you know, and then be able to watch what really what I want to watch. I want value for what I'm paying for. He also likes the idea of being able to channel surf and watch things he maybe wasn't even looking for. If you're bored and you're scrolling and it's a crappy day outside, cable's your best friend. So he'll keep his cable. This is easy for me. Streaming services have disrupted the TV industry as we know it. But it wasn't always that way. CU Denver lecturer Matt Kaskovich says at first the industry thought Netflix was just a flash in the pan. But now everybody across the media industry is recognizing that video streaming is here to stay. Spending billions of dollars to build up their own streaming services. It's going to be messy for a while. The market's going to figure it out, but eventually it will all figure itself out. All of these options can be overwhelming for viewers. Right now cable is easy, streaming is not, but Streaming is cheaper and cable is more expensive. I think in the future we're going to see live streaming services really kind of trend towards a multi-tiered system, which looks very much like a cable bundle today. There's a battle for the living room taking place right now. Media expert Dan Rayburn has a different outlook. It's not going to happen. But while it may be cheaper and easier for consumers if companies bundle. There's no benefit to their business of doing this. Which is why he thinks streaming prices will just keep going up. But Rayburn doesn't see cable going anywhere anytime soon. Sports is really what keeps people coming and paying for live TV. So it will be up to viewers to decide what they want to watch and how. It's not a one size fits all. Going forward, consumers are really going to have to figure out what content do they like the most. How do they want to pay for it? And are you using the Apple TV to watch? Back in that entertainment section, the constant customer stream for streaming is still busy. We've walked hundreds of people a week through this exact process. Whether you choose cable or streaming. It'll ask you, do you want to watch it live? The option is purely yours. It's a lot easier than you think. So what does the future of your TV look like? Megan Lopez, Denver 7.